didn't know that. Yes, sir. Thomas Crapper died. He invented the plush toilet. Everything you wanted to know about the, the toilet is right there. Sure. And you're a little bit at home. I'm down at all these people. Come here. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is the salesman that sells from both sides of the desk. Sell from sales. Yeah. Oh, yeah. take a little butt here, Sam. A little double shot for you. Uh -huh. Come on, my baby. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. I woke up this morning my head was well, so bad. That's enough. Hold the on. The worst thing over that I ever <laughs> had. <laughs> Happened to me last night. That's enough. Hold on. Girl, am I? She loved me so right. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So right in the middle of the night. I'm sorry. So right. I'm sorry. That was a fine one more little shot. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. A double shot of my baby love. Thank you very much. That's enough. What brings you in today? Well, uh huh. I heard you talking about Sir Thomas. Sir Thomas Crapper. The you inventor know, of the flush toilet. You know, yeah. he's a relative of mine. Oh, <laughs> the Sam, somehow I believe this one. He uh -huh. really is? Yeah. I, I don't. He's, he's an uncle twice removed on my mother's cousin's aunt's side. Uh-huh. Okay. And you know, other, other than my mother, you know, uh -huh. I'm probably the only one who knows the true story of how the modern-day Heine Hot Seat came into... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. The what? Well, it's kind of a little term we call it in the family. Uh-huh. The, yeah. the Heine Hot Seat. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay. Ought to be damn I'm, interesting. I'm afraid of this one. Now, this one I want to hear. Okay. It's a true story. This for nothing. I'll bet it's, it's a true, true story. story. <laughs> yeah, right. Somehow omitted into the, the record book, the uh -huh. history book. Uh -huh. The story this of Sir Thomas. how it really went down. Of Sir Thomas Crapper. Wait a minute, so Sir Thomas really went down. Yeah, really. That's how it really went down. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put him bum. Yeah. <laughs> Way back in the olden days, uh -huh. yeah. Uncle Tom uh -huh. and, <laughs> and his buddy, yeah. Johnson Jackson, <laughs> What was his name? Johnson Jackson. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. he, and, and his buddy, they was out on a hunting trip in Wyoming. Okay. Uh -huh. And it was late at night, uh -huh. and old Johnson Jackson heard Mother Nature calling. All right. Uh -huh. In fact, Mother Nature had the iron claw on his lower lip and was about to pull it over his head. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking half to go here. This we man got, was hurting. We've got to do something. There yeah, are okay. three things you have to do besides die and pay taxes. That's right. right. <laughs> that's it. You've uh -huh. got to do that. Okay. Uh, no, that's right. What does this have to do with... Well, now this is part of the story. Okay. okay. So, so Johnson grabbed a shovel and uh -huh. dug himself a hole in the ground and, uh -huh. and heeded Mother Nature's call. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, the next morning, they was awakened by the crashing sound of a covered wagon. Oh, good God. Uh, real close to where uh, Johnson Jackson had dug his between. Okay. <laughs> so they, they woke up and Grant went over there and found a man driving the wagon was, was knocked out cold. Good God. Mercy. So they took him back to the campfire, woke him back up, and the first thing he said was, where's my wagon? Uh-huh. Yeah. Thomas said, well, we left it over there by Jackson Hole. <laughs> Wait a minute. And that's how that town got its name. <laughs> that is, that's not how Jackson the whole while we got. That's it, right there. No, it's not. It's a true story. What well, sounds true to me, Sam? I'll buy it. <laughs> Two little pieces of history tied into one now. <laughs> that's not how Jackson the whole while we got. Right started. there, Jackson Johnson Jackson's hole, right there. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a town built over that spot right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> nothing to do with Jackson the whole while. have nothing to do with Thomas Crabber yeah. well, yeah, well, wait a minute. It's part of the story oh, here now. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. But... <laughs> After they got this guy upright, you uh -huh. know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> They went over there and, and checked this hole out. Uh -huh. <laughs> sort of a proctology type thing? Yeah, and uh -huh. by this time, Uncle Tom's mind was flushed with ideas. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a play on words. Uh -huh. Just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he got a great idea, uh -huh. and his first idea was a very small portable toilet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was marketed in the Farmer's Almanac that year as Uncle Tom's Pocket Poopa. <laughs> Kind of like the pocket fisherman. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Uncle Tom's pocket pooper? Yeah, that's, that's what they call I it. I don't think so. But after several cleaning bills and four lawsuits, they uh -huh. uh, had to do away with that one. I bet they did. Yes, so. Well, see, his idea was just about to bottom out. <laughs> and after, after uh -huh. trying several variations on the pocket pooper... Uh-huh. <laughs> He was just about to, you know this is coming, uh -huh. just about to flush the whole idea. Uh -huh. yeah, I see. I hear yeah. it, yeah. And about that time, his friend Johnson Jackson came uh -huh. to the rescue. All right. 
He said, you know, Tom, you've had this idea for almost two years, and uh -huh. it ain't working. I think if you just cut a hole in the top of it, it might just help out. <laughs> and that's how the modern porcelain princess <laughs> came to be.